Okay, good day everyone. So our topic for quarter 3, week 1, is the basic concepts in geometry. So for our objectives, first represents point, line, and plane using concrete and pictorial models. So in here you are going to represent point, line, and plane. And the next illustrate subsets of a line. You will be able to illustrate the different subsets of a line after this discussion. Next, classifies the different kinds of angles. So, you are going to classify the different kinds of angles or you will be able to classify the different kinds or types of angles. So, we have here undefined terms in geometry. So, we have three undefined terms in geometry. When we say undefined, we cannot define, define each term, but then we can describe every term. So, we have three undefined terms. So, number one is point, two is line, and then three is plane. So, we have the first undefined term that is a point. So, to represent a point, we have here a dot. So, you will just draw a dot to represent a point. The next we have here how to name a point. So you can name a point using a capital letter like for here. We have the representation which is a dot and then the capital letter W. So this is read as point W. So next for its description. So a point is it is a location in, no, in space with no dimension. So take note of the word no dimensions. The next, it has no length, no width, or no thickness. Because it has no dimensions, obviously it has no length, no width, or thickness. Then for the real life example of a point, we have the tip of the pen. So the tip of the pen here is an example of a point. So for the second undefined term, we have the line. So to represent a line, we have straight marks with two arrowheads or a straight marks with two headed arrow. So as you can see, this is the arrow at the end of the line. And next, how to name a line? So labeled with a single lowercase letter. So example, this uh, figure. So we have line L. It can also be labeled with two capital letters representing the two distinct points on the line. So, you can name this line also as line DE. So, use the two capital letter. Next, so to denote the line, you can use above uh, the two capital letter the arrowhead or the straight line with two arrowhead. So, re read as line DE. So, this is read as line DE. The symbol for the line is the straight mark with two arrowheads. Next, LN read as line N. So, that is line N if you are going to use the lowercase letter. Next, for its description, it has no thickness. As you can see, the line has no thickness. But its length extends infinitely to both directions. Because when we represent a line, it uses the two arrowheads. arrowheads. So, that arrowhead represents extension of the line in the left and in the right direction. And also, it is a st straight. Next, for the real-life example, line guides on intermediate papers. So, every day you are using uh, intermediate paper on answering your module. So, this is a good example of line. Okay, for our less undefined term, so we have the plane. So, to represent a plane, we are going to use the slanted four-sided figure. So, this is the slanted four-sided figure that is to represent a plane. So, how are we going to name a plane? So, we can use single capital script letter. So, like this. So, we are going to name this as plane M. So, that is script. Meaning of script, that is cursive lettering. So next, we can also name the plane using three non-collinear points. 
So, we are missing non-collinear. Those are the points that do not lie on the same line. So, we can name this plane as plane X, Y, Z. Next, for the description of the plane. So, it has no thickness. But then, it extends indefinitely in all directions. So, going up and then going down. So, this is the extension. If you are going to have that. Then, this side. Then, also this side. We can extend that. And also this side. It, uh, it extends indefinitely in all directions. Next, it's... It is a flat surface. So that is a plane. For the real life example of a plane, we have here flat panel, which is called as our TV screen. So as you can see, TV screen is a plane, or the TV screen is a flat surface. Okay, next we are going to discuss the subsets of a line. So we have the line segment. A subset of a line consisting of two points. So that is, that two points is called the endpoints, and all other points between them. So we have the line segment, it consists of many points inside that two endpoints. Next, its length can be measured. Of course, the length can be measured because it has its endpoints. Next, it is usually named by its two endpoints with a bar above there. So example, if the first endpoint is A, second endpoint is B, so... The line segment is named as line segment AB. You are going to use a bar line above the two letters. Next, to find the measure of the distance between any two points or length of the line segment. So, if you are going to find the, the length or the measure of the distance of the line segment, you are going to first identify the coordinates of the point. Example, if the coordinates of the point is 3 and 5, then find the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates. So, 3 and 5 are the coordinates. You are just going to get the absolute value of the difference. So, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Get the absolute value of negative 2. So, the, difference, uh, the distance is 2 for that uh, coordinates. So, next subset of a line is called as the ray. The ray is a subset of a line with one endpoint and all other points on one side of the endpoint. So, compared to the segment that has two endpoints, a ray has one endpoint and the other is extending indefinitely or infinitely on one side. Since it extends in one direction infinitely, it cannot be measured. Compared to a line segment that can be measured, ray cannot be measured because it's one side is extending. Next, it is named by two points with a ray above them. So, you can name also a ray using two capital letter with a ray above the two letters and with the end point written first. You are going to name a ray using first the, the name of the end point and going to the a side which is extending. So, for the illustration of the subsets of a line which is the ray and the segment so we have here the the figure so as you can see this is for the ray so this is the end point which is a and then another point so we can name this as ray a b or ray a b as this you will just put ray symbol above the two letters next for the line segment so, we have here the point A and point B. So, we are going to name this line segment as segment AB or segment AB as we are going to use the line segment above the two letters AB. So, for the last subset of a line, we have the angle. Angle is the result of the union of two rays with a common endpoint. So, angle is composed of the two rays. Uh, they intersect, so two rays intersect in one common endpoint. So, it is measured by means of an instrument, the protractor. So, you may use a protractor to measure an angle. So, for us to write the measure of an angle, you are going to write degrees. So, if you are going to use the protractor, you can have the measure of an angle in degrees. 
So, how are we going to name an angle? So, let us have A by its vertex or its common endpoint. So, we have here the figure. So, its endpoint where two rays uh, intersect. This is the point where two rays intersect. So, by its vertex, we can name this angle as angle B or angle B. Next, for letter B, by three points with a vertex in the middle. So, you are going to name uh, the angle using three letters, but then the vertex is in the middle. So, if our ver ver vertex is B, we can name this angle as angle ABC or angle CBA. Its vertex is in the middle. Next, by a number on it. So, we can see one here. So, we can name the angle as angle 1. Next, last, by a lowercase letter on it. So, we have here an example. If we have the letter here or script letter, small letter here. So, we can name the angle as angle A. That is the four ways to name an angle. We also have here the classification or the types of angles. So, we have three types of angles. So, we have acute angle, the right angle, and obtuse angle. As you can see in here, for acute angle, example, if we have the measure is 62 degrees, so an acute angle measures less than 90 degrees. All measurements less than 90 degrees is an acute angle. So if we have your example, 57 degrees, also an acute angle. Another, 18 degrees, an acute angle also because it is less than 90 degrees. Next, for the right angle, right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. So, in, in here, as you can see, so we have a symbol here, like a square. So, that is the symbol for a right angle, exactly 90 degrees. If the measure is 89.5, that is an acute. If the measure is 90 degrees, that is called as the right angle. Next, we have also the obtuse angle, which measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. If we have 135 degrees, that is obviously an example of obtuse angle because 135 degrees is between 90 degrees and 180. Another example, if we have 95 degrees, also an obtuse angle. So, to sum it up, acute angle measures less than 90 a right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. And obtuse angle measures between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Okay, for your first uh, activity, what is more? So, you need to answer the following activities on a separate sheet of paper or you can use the weekly home learning plan to answer this. So, for letter A, identify whether the object is a representation of point or points, line, or plane. So, we have here for number one, cell, first, cell phone screen. So, if this cell phone screen represents point, line, or plane, you will write your answer here in the blank. So, you will write just point, line, or plane. One answer each number. So, for two, number two, edge of a wall. Next, grain of salt. Next, strand of straight hair. And then last, tip of a crayon. So, you will just write point, line, or plane if... This uh, given represent that point, line, or plane. Okay, next for letter B, illustrate each of the following and label the diagram. When we say illustrate, you are going to draw what is as on each number. So, like for example, if you have number 1, point B lies in a plane M. You need to draw plane M and then you need to have point B, where point B lies on a plane M. Next, number 2, line CD. You are going to draw a line with, which have two arrow heads that extends indefinitely on both sides. And then name the line CD. Next, point A. And then 4, point F. And then 5, line AT. You are going to name the line using the two capital, capital letters using AT. Okay, for what I can achieve or what you can achieve for this, uh, topic. So, for letter A, classify the angle given the following angle measures. So, each number consists of the angle measures or the angle measures. Write your answer on a piece of paper 
or uh, on the weekly home learning plan. So, yes, for number one, we have 35 degrees. So, what kind of angle is this? So, we have the choices acute, right, and then obtuse angle. You are just going to write acute angle, right angle, or obtuse angle. Number two, 100 degrees. Number three, 150 degrees. Number four, 90 degrees. And then number five is 15 degrees. Again, you are just going to classify the angles if this is acute angle, right angle, or obtuse angle. Given the figures below, classify each as acute, right, obtuse, or straight angle. So we have five figures here. You are just going to determine if they are acute, right, obtuse or straight angle. You can verify or check your answer by using a protractor to measure the following angle. So if you are going to measure the, the angles here, you will um, use the protractor. So you can have the steps in measuring the angles. Just search the steps in measuring the angles using a protractor. So, write your answer on a sheet of paper. Okay, to check if you have learned something about our topic. So, we have here this activity for what I have learned. So, choose the letter of the correct answer and write your answer on your answer sheet. So, for number one, part of a line that consists of two points called endpoint. So, we have four choices. Line, ray, angle, and line segment. The next, it has no dimension and is represented by a dot. You can choose among the four choices. Next, for number three, question, which illustrates a ray? So, we have here A, B, C, and D. We have four choices also. The next, number four, an angle that measures less than 90 degree but more than zero degree is an or is a an black. So, we have four cho choices also. For the last item, we have which has no width but has a length and extends indefinitely on both sides. So, we have A angle, B line, C plane, or that is a ray, if that is a ray. So, you can choose among the four choices. You will just write the letter of your answer. For the last part of your test, we have your reflection or your performance test for this week. So, you are going to write your thought about this lesson by completing the statements below. So, we have here, I understand. So, you will write anything you understand about this topic. And the next, I wish to learn more about. So, what do you wish to learn more about? Uh, mathematics. So, you will just write anything you wish to learn more about our subject. Okay, I already explained each test you need to answer, so that is all for today. Thank you.